I'm Karen Graham. I'm the registered dietitian with the Metabolic Wellness Center. If you haven't met with me yet, you will be soon. Today we're going to talk about the two major roadblocks that I see that people have with nutrition. Come with me and we'll talk about it. Okay, first we're going to talk about protein. Um, the thing I find the most that people, most people don't get enough protein, especially when they're working out. Uh, and this is very important. So I want to talk about some very simple, easy ideas to add protein into the diet. Um, first of all, nuts and seeds are a very good source of protein. Um, there are only two nuts that I tell people to stay away from, and those are peanuts and cashews. Uh, peanuts uh, have the wrong type of fat. They have the saturated fat, the type of fat that raises cholesterol and causes heart conditions. And cashews are the only kind of nut that is very high in carbs. So the protein content's not there like all of the nuts. So um, here I'm holding a can of Marcona almonds. Um, and these are available at uh, Costco. Um, these are, I like these almonds a lot because they're not hard like most almonds are. They're very soft. Um, and they're a little, they taste different than most almonds. But uh, any type of uh, almond or walnut, macadamia nut, pistachio, um, any kind of seed like pumpkin seed or sunflower seeds, these are all really good snacks to have in between meals or adding protein to meals. Um, the nice thing about it is they don't need to be refrigerated. So in Arizona, that's really nice. You can take them in your purse, you can have them in your car if you're out shopping and doing errands. That's an easy, easy protein. The other thing that I like to talk about are nut butters. So as I talked about just a second ago, peanut butter is not my first choice, but there are several op other options here, like sunflower seed butter is a real popular one, um, as well as almond butter. And this particular almond butter I found at Costco, and this is a very good price. This size here is only $6, and that's a very, very good price for almond butter. Um, sunflower seed butter can be found at Fry's Grocery Store, it can be found at Sunflower Market, um, Sprouts, Trader Joe's, um, and this seems to be most everybody's favorite. So if you haven't tried these nut butters, I would try this one first. Um, and it's easy to put on, you know, you could have a piece of toast in the morning and put your sunflower seed butter on there. You can have an apple for a snack and put the sunflower seed or the almond butter on there. Um, it's a great snack and it's another way to add protein into the diet. When it comes to dairy products, like yogurt and milk, a lot of people think that these products are proteins, but they're not. Um, and an easy way to identify if you're looking for at a food that has a label, and you want to know is that food a protein or is it a carbohydrate. What you do is you look at the label, the nutrition label, and you look at the protein and the carbs. Compare the two, and what you want to know is that the protein's higher if you're looking for protein. When it comes to most yogurts, most yogurts are higher in carbs, much, much higher in carbs than uh, protein. Um, but Greek style yogurt, which came out on the market here about two or three years ago, is high in protein compared to carbs. And that's what you want to look for. So uh, this company, Boscos, is really popular. They have it at Sprouts and uh, other health food stores, some grocery stores carry it. Um, and also Costco has some Greek yogurt as well. And Costco is very cost effective when it comes to Greek yogurt. Um, not all Greek yogurts are the same. So what you want to do is make sure that you look at the label on the back and make sure the protein content's higher. For example, when I'm comparing both of these brands, they're both Boscos, um, but this one here that's plain has a lot more protein than it does carbs. This one here that has honey added to it, the carb content is very elevated, so the protein's not there. So you really want to make sure that you check on the back and that you're getting the protein that you're paying for. Another easy, quick protein is canned salmon. Um, this also you can find at Costco. This brand is called Bear and Wolf. This is skinless, boneless, wild-caught Alaskan salmon. That's the best kind of salmon that you can get. Uh, if you were to go to a grocery store and look for a skinless, boneless salmon, that's about $6 a can. And the Costco has this for $1.10 a can. So the cost is amazing. So it's a very cheap source of protein. Um, again, this is wild cut, and that's what you want to look for. Because if you find a can that says Atlantic Salmon, 
that means it is farm-raised because there is no more salmon in the Atlantic. So make sure you get the good quality that you want. Uh, this is very easy. You can open this can and dump it onto a salad to get your protein. Um, you can make a salmon salad sandwich out of it. Um, it's very fast. There's no cooking involved, which is nice. Uh, actually, none of these have cooking involved, which is what, what a lot of people are looking for. Another really nice option, also at, found at Costco, are these frozen salmon burgers. The brand is called Trident. Um, again, they're wild-caught Alaskan, so the, really the best kind of salmon that you can get. They're very easy. You just pop them into your oven, cook them, you can put them on the grill. Uh, they're very simple. And they have loads of this omega-3 fatty acid. If you can see here, it has 1,300 milligrams, um, which is like taking a supplement of fish oil. So. Now, don't forget about uh, like something like canned sardines. A lot of people, when I talk about this, you know, turn their noses up at canned sardines. But again, this is another skinless, boneless fish product. It's just the meat, and this is actually in olive oil. So again, a good kind of olive oil, I mean a good kind of fat, the same type of fat that you find in nuts and these nut butters. Um, so don't be shy, find a skinless, boneless olive oil, you know, take a little of sardines, put a little bit on a cracker, it's a nice snack. It's a good combination of a carb and a protein. Um, and it's fast and it's easy, again, no cooking involved. So that was the end of protein. Remember, if you have any questions about this or anything else, please email us at our blog and we will get back to you.